Okay. We're going to be going over, um, for the last couple of days, I have been testing uh, building a ship that has a good balance of cargo and self-defense and offense. Um, <clears throat> took me a couple of days, like I said, but I think I've struck a decent balance. Um, so let's take a look at it. Now, I also have a, uh, a ship I built strictly for fighting in space. But uh, I'm going to go over that after this video. My voice sounds like shit. I got allergies. So deal with it. Okay. So I wanted to avoid, I wanted to maximize cargo, but not have a ship that looks like this absolutely absurd because this just there's no way something like this could defend itself so let's see what we got. i don't want to hear any complaint i have are. hours of invoices to go over so let's make it quick excellent okay. so i based it on this the silent runner with uh, 6060 cargo units. Um, decent defense. These are turrets, I believe. But um, mm, wasn't all that great for, uh, for uh, self-defense. So I took that as my framework. Although Ron's this. passing is a law. Certainly. Now, like I said, it's based on the uh, it's based on the Silent Runner. Uh, these are... Now, I also built it so that I can essentially take everything, all of my building materials, carry them to the ship, put them in the ship, because it's got 15, 1,600 uh, cargo. <clears throat> um, I can take everything with me. I have a workshop, which is uh, weapons, suits, and uh, what else? Uh, manufacturing, like um, creating adaptive frames and whatnot. Uh, all in one berth for the people in the ship, the crew. Uh, science lab, in case I need to do some science research. I have most of my science stuff squared away, but just in case. Uh, living quarters captain's quarters, other living quarters. This particular cockpit has uh, six crew stations, so I found that I didn't need uh, the, what do they call it, the control center. Hold on. Captain's computer core control station. I don't need the control station because I have, I mean, does anybody have more than six people with them? And the cargo are these Galleon S204 cargo holds at 1480. This is a Class C ship, by the way. Um, I have maxed out my uh, uh, ship fabrication. Shields the Assurance SG1800 at 1600 uh, max shield health. The SGD3300 grab drive. Let's see the pinch 87 reactor, 40 units of power generation. Um, I gave myself these fuel tanks at 550, the 840 Atlas HE3 tanks. Pretty good uh, as far as weight and carrying capacity. They seem to be the best as far as I can see. Uh, there are some ones that have similar, but they are too big. Uh, basically, the underneath is just stacked with landing gear. And where there is no landing gear, I've got more of the cargo pods. Uh, I like having the... Um, I like having the uh, landing bay up front near the cockpit. And I've got the captain's quarters right here. As far as weapons, I have the 
obliterator 250 MEV alpha beam. That's not an auto fire. It's not a turret. And I've got the uh, Vanguard Ares part of the can cannon. I like to have range. Uh, on this specific, specific ship, I like to be able to, when I come into a combat situation, lower my speed and snipe at the enemy before they get into the 1500 meter range. So I can hit them at almost, what, four? This one reaches out at 42, uh, 4225. These are the turrets. I like, I was able to, I could have put the turrets in any number of locations, but I found that on top of the cockpit is the best because you the most part, when you're dogfighting with an enemy ship, they are going to be in the upper arc. Uh, you're going to be turning, and you're going to be uh, yawing up towards them. So basically, these turrets are capable of basically covering the entire upper arc. And uh, I found that this isn't too, not too bad of a setup. And uh, as ugly as it is... It is not as ugly as the Silent Runner. It's that thing is ugly like a mud bug. So let's go ahead and see how she does. Just in case anybody was wondering, you know, like I said, it was it was difficult to make it as big as possible versus. Uh, just the right size where you have a decent amount of maneuverability, adequate amount of maneuverability uh, versus size. Alright. Wait, that's easy pickets. Yeah, let's try that. Alright. Hello. As vital. If anybody has any questions, uh, but like I said, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, okay. Hello. See how I put it together. Captain, weapons, do you require my assistance? Weapons that I was using. The weapons that I am going to be using. All right. This only has 27 light year uh, range, but that's not too bad. Star Parcel Freighter to unknown vessel. No. I have an urgent package. Yeah. The Star Parcel's fleet's got a built like tanks, yeah, yeah. but it's going to take hours to fix this. Sorry, company pop. If you step foot on, I got a hot package. They'll dock my pay. Star Parcel yeah. will reward you well if you can. Just take your pants off. The paperwork involved in giving you... Hold on. I never said that... I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Tell you what, I can I'm pay you some credit the best I can do. Ah, excellent. All you need to do is drop this off Speaking to the ship's of this services thing, technician you on imagine a Gila City. In this They'll room? take it from there. Thanks for... Yeah. Okay, uh, the weapons and energy distribution are pretty much as good as it's going to get. So let's see what we can see. Locate the ship. Now I'm going to try to put a long battle on the bit to check out the Your That is a white angle. Yeah. 
actually not that. Four on one, no hold. And these are the last two. That's a crimson to the ghost news. I think the last two should be. Not a piece of garbage. This amount of cargo storage, 16,698, that's not bad. Like I said, I was able to literally take all of my building supplies and carry them. I was using the, the, the power, the, 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 what do you call it, the air around you where you don't run out of uh, oxygen when you're running. Uh, and I was just using that over and over again to get back from Lodge to the starport, and I was able to make it. Dump all my crap in here, and I went to my outpost, and I was able to build whatever the hell I wanted with no problems at all. All right, so that's that. If anybody has any questions, let me know.